In this video, I will explain the designing and simulation of DC machine powered by battery. Here battery means I will design battery charging and discharging states. And also here DC machine means this machine either act as a motor and I also explaining DC generator mode also. So for that purpose, first of all, I will take the battery so take battery we have so many types of battery like lithium ion lead acid and nickel cadmium so many so here i will take the lithium ion because it has the more advantages over all of them i am taking the battery rating is something like 200 volts okay and 6.5 ampere hours so here battery means i will get the voltage like dc that's why i'm taking the dc mission here okay so now i will connect this positive and negative battery terminals to one load that have capacity of 50 amps and i will take the dc mission parallel to this load here if battery has the full charging means battery have minimum and maximum states if i take the battery minimum state is 0 0.4 nothing but the 40 percent of the state of charge and i will take the battery maximum state is 80 percent nothing but 0 0.8 state of charge here soc state of charge is nothing but for example if you take our mobile phone with 100 percent charging while we are using the mobile then that charging is gradually reducing right means by starting off using your phone it will be 100 percent after using half an hour and one hour it will be reducing gradually right 80 percent 70 percent 60 percent gradually means you are using that voltage in the battery so like that this battery also have some maximum and minimum states if the battery is 80 percent then we need to give this battery voltage to the dc machine means this battery voltage goes to motor okay so means this dc machine input is electricity right so this machine act as a motor when battery have that maximum state of charge when it coming to the state of charge is minimum means battery have 40 percent of charging then here battery comes to its minimum state of charge means we need to charge this battery okay we need to charge this battery we need a electric supply to this battery right so in that purpose this machine act as a generator when when this state of charges come to 40 percent in that time we will give this dc machine to minus 200 newton meter negative load torque okay when when battery comes to 40 percent of its state of charge in that condition we will give the negative load torque then this dc machine nothing but the motor will act as a generator then this current is go to this battery and battery is charged through this load here if you take the 200 newton per meter then you will get the dc generator output current is 100 amps in 100 amps 50 amps is go to this load and then 50 amps is go to battery then battery is again charging and it go to its maximum stage after getting maximum stage then again battery is connected to dc motor operation because it has their maximum stage and again this DC motor is powered by battery and then again battery is on working and gradually decrease their capability to its minimum stage again minimum stage come again this B DC motor will be act as a generator then this process is recycling right so now design this circuit in MATLAB After opening MATLAB, go to Simlink. So this is the blank model. Here we can design the our circuit. Now open library and take the elements what you need. We need a battery, right? So go to Simscape Power Systems. In extra sources, you will get the battery. And we also want distribution, right? So take the distribution in missions. Right click and add this model to untitled. Or you can also use the command shortcut control A to add this model to that blank model. Okay. And then what we need? We need is load like 50 amps rating right go to sources here you will get the current control source take this one as a load and then what we need we need a bus selector to take the measured values take this one and we also need a some gain take that gain and uh, to take the battery minimum and maximum states we need a switch like relay so take relay you can get this relay in discontinuous blocks take relay to display the result we need a scope so take scope and also we need to give you a 50 amps current right so for that purpose take some constant 
and also take the power GUI. Without this one, we can't run the circuit. Okay. Now take this all elements and connect the circuit. So first of all, take the battery and give it to the load. So take this as the load and give this positive to this one and negative to this one. Okay. So we'll take the load rating as 50 amps, right? So for example, I'm taking the load as 50 amperes. So take the 50 amperes. So here I'm taking the current source. That's why this constant will be like current amperes. Okay. Now connect this DC mission parallel to the load. So like this, I'll connect the mission parallel to the load. So here you'll get the battery measured values like voltage, current and state of charge, all things. But here I will take the only voltage and then state of charge take these two and click on ok so here in first you will get the voltage and second you will get the state of charge so here i will take the state of charge and give it to the gain why because this state of charge is in percentage means 70 percent 80 percent 90 percent and we will give it to the torque tl load torque why because we need to operate a dc motor when battery have maximum state of charge means 80 percent of charging and we need to operate this dc machine in generating mode when this battery will become the minimum state like 40 percent so to convert this percentage into 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.9 format take the gain and give it to the 1 by 100 then it will be like if this is 80 percent then the value of this output is 0 0.8 if this is 40 percent the value of output is 0 0.4 now give it to the switch relay okay so take this on port is 0 0.8 and off port is 0 0.4 means if the battery has 80 percent of charging then this dc mission on and operate in motor mode when this battery is in minimum state means 40 percent of charging then this motor will be act as a generator so in that state we will give the mission to minus 200 newton meter load torque that's why i'm taking the minus 200 when it is off means when it is getting the 0 0.4 value okay now connect this to torque so like this take the another bus selector here also so here also you will get the measurement port and take this one and here also you will get the some speed and armature currents etc so i will take the speed and armature current only to see the graph so take this scope but here you will get the four outputs like here voltage state of charge here speed and armature current but here you have only one input so change this scope to four input ports and take layout as four click on ok that's it now connect the voltage and state of charge of the battery and speed of the motor or generator and armature current and double click on battery and take the nominal voltage as 200 volts so here i'll take the 200 volts i'm i'm, I'm taking the lithium ion type battery you can also take any battery like that acid nickel cadmium like that but here i'm taking the lithium ion battery only and i will take 200 volts nominal voltage and 6.5 ah rate value okay so now observe when battery has its maximum value then this dc machine will be act as a dc motor means this battery voltage will goes to motor okay when battery goes to its minimum state means 40 percent of state then this dc machine will be act as a dc generator why because whenever this battery goes to its minimum stage we will apply the minus 200 newton meter load torque that's why it will act as a generator okay now run your circuit and open your scope then you will get the results like this okay if you observe so here first of all this is the voltage of the battery and second one is state of charge and third one is speed and fourth one is armature current so here if you take the state of charge initially it has the 100 percent charging right means it has the maximum value okay more than maximum value means this dc machine will act as a dc motor so when the state of charge is gradually comes to its 40 percent of state means its minimum state then at that time we will apply the minus 200 newton meter load torque right so at this position that motor will become a generator so that's why we will get the armature current minus 100 amps so that 100 amps will goes to 50 amps to this load and then remaining 50 amps to this battery that is the operation of dc generator generator will generate power and charge the battery so here 
state of charge is gradually increasing means battery is charging whenever it goes to its maximum stage means maximum stage is 80 percent here i will take the maximum state is 0 0.8 right and 0 0.4 is minimum state so whenever it goes to its maximum state then it will be act as a dc motor means battery have enough state of charge then it, it can be give this current to dc motor if battery is connected to dc motor then this battery gradually decrease their state of charge and it goes to its minimum state of charge 40 percent at that point again minus 200 newton meter load torque will be applied that dc motor will will become a generator and again minus 100 amps current will be generated and give it to the 50 amps to load and 50 amps to battery again battery charge so like that this cycle is continuous